Build context is something many developers don't fully understand, but they know how to use it. However, understanding what it is can help you solve some of the nastiest bugs. Build context is a way for your widget to know its own location within the widget tree. In other words, it gives you context about its location. If you were blindfolded and dropped off in a random city, you would look at the context around you to figure out where you are. Maybe you would check the street signs, the position of the sun, or some landmarks to figure out where you are. Build context is like those signs and landmarks for each widget's location within the widget tree. Build context is most commonly used to look up the widget tree and locate specific widgets. For example, when you use themed out of context or navigator out of context, you are looking up the widget tree to find the theme or navigator that coincides with the location of the current widget, where you are calling those functions from. For the rest of this video, we're going to get deep into how Flutter works under the hood. For me learning about this is fun, but there is a reason why Flutter was built as a framework or toolkit, that's because you don't need to know this when you're working with it day to day. All these things are abstracted to make it easier for you to develop your application. So if the only thing you remember from this doc is that build context gives you location within the widget tree, you are solid. But if you're a nerd like me and like understanding how stuff works, this next section will be fun. Everything is a widget is a lie. If you heard the phrase in the Flutter community that everything is a widget, you have been lied to. Well, only partially. Most of the time the developer only interfaces with widgets, but there is a lot more happening behind the scenes. You can think of a widget as a blueprint for what you want Flutter and eventually the code to build. These blueprints are used to create an element tree and a render tree. The element tree handles the life cycle of the application, and the render tree is in charge of displaying the UI. In terms of the build context, we only care about the element tree. Each Flutter widget has a corresponding element. These elements within the element tree have two very specific purposes. One, hold the references to the parents and child widgets. Two, hold the state of the widget. We get into how state works within the element tree in a separate doc, but the first part of what an element does is literally the build context. If you dive deep into the Flutter code, you will find the definition of element. So an element is an implementation of build context, and thus when we use build context within our application, we are getting access to this element in the element tree in order to find out where we are located. A quick side note. Since the element tree is a tree, you can only get location information above and below the current widget. You cannot get information to any widgets to the side of the current one. Build context provides location vertically, but not horizontally. Now I want to end this with a fun story. Back in the day, before Flutter 2.0 was released, there was no such thing as a scaffold messenger widget. The way you would display a snack bar within your Flutter application was by using scaffold.ofContext.showSnackBar, which caused the following code to show an error. Scaffold.of, called with a context that does not contain a scaffold. But how does this make sense? If you look at the code there is clearly a scaffold and the context is used within it. You have to be careful with situations like these. Look again at what context is being used. It's using the context that belongs to the home page widget. The build context in this case is looking at the widgets above the home page for a scaffold, but not within it. Before we used to solve this by wrapping our button in a builder widget which gives its own context. But now since they added the scaffold messenger widget this is no longer a worry, and you just use that instead. Thank you for watching, and you can read the text version of this video at hungrymind.com.